Okay, thank you so much for joining me today in our online webinar. The title of this webinar is How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. Here we go. So if you're suffering from respiratory illness and you would like to finally get rid of that nagging cough, that fatigue, right? Lung and sinus congestion, brutal. And so you can get back to living a normal life again, then this will be the most important video you watch all year long. Here's why. If you're feeling sick at home, your illness is keeping you from enjoying the things you love doing the most, right? Know that this is not only negatively affecting you on a physical level, but on an emotional level as well which greatly affects the quality of your life. So in just a second, you'll discover the three things you need to know in order to, number one, cut your cold symptoms in half, number two, naturally clear out your sinuses and lungs of congestion, and number three, return to the life you love to live with strength, energy, and confidence. So hi, my name is Dr. Hudson Taylor. I'm a doctor of chiropractic. I was born into a chiropractic family, mentored in the art of natural medicine since birth. I have a deep passion for helping people like you stay healthy, happy, and strong, living the life you want to live as soon as possible. So you don't have to take habit-forming drugs or worse, end up in the hospital, right? You want to decrease the risk of that. I know what it's like to be sick. My father is a chiropractor, however. He treated me on a routinely basis growing up. I got adjusted every week. Every time we started to feel sick, right? We started to get cold, fever, right? Lung congestion, like bronchitis, right? We would get treated right away, adjusted. We would be, you know, told what to eat, how to, how to, how to take care of it ourselves, and we would bounce back every time. I was so inspired by this lifestyle that I went into chiropractic school so I could instruct others and teach others to do the same. So take, for example, here, Fabi, right? Had a, had you know really bad pneumonia, and after that her lungs still bothered her. She couldn't she could barely you know she couldn't breathe deeply. She was coughing all the time. We did energy pressure wave on her to open up her airway. She re responded so much better, and she uh, made lifestyle changes. She is 100% today. She can breathe well. She feels well, right? And then there's this little child here, right? This beautiful little child who's in the NICU, right? Because she had a respiratory infection. And, and you know, they put her on medications to open up her airways. The problem is, is, it's, is it messed up her gut uh, microbiome. And then also she was still wheezing, congested, uh, and her heart was racing still afterward. So brought her in, lasered her lungs and her intestines, also uh, gave her adjustments, helped her nervous system to calm down. We made the appropriate lifestyle changes. Her mom was breastfeeding her. We had the mom make changes as well in her diet, and she got so much better. She's 100% today doing great. So let's talk here about three things you need to know in order to cut your cold symptoms in half, clear out your lungs and sinuses naturally, and then return to the life you love to live. Ultimately, bulletproof your immune system. So step number one here. Number one, keep your vitamin D levels up, up. Vitamin D deficiency directly contributes to ARDS, acute respiratory distress syndrome. That's where the lungs pretty much, right, they fail, right? And 90% of the people who are on ventilators with failing lungs are vitamin D deficient. They're not getting outside. They're not getting vitamin D. Vitamin D just strengthens everything in your lungs and in your immune system. It is one of the building blocks of your immune system. You want to try to get out into the sun for at least 20 minutes daily. And if you're sick, you want to up it to 10,000 IUs of good quality vitamin D. Also, you want to actively rest in the sunshine. Get outside even if you're not feeling well and sit in the sun for at least 20 minutes. Step number two is this. Incorporate antiviral and antibacterial nutrients. Here are the top antibacterial and viral nutrients. Number one, colloidal silver. It inhibits viral replic replication, studies show. It's also anti-pneumonia and also anti-sinus and lung congestion as well. It will keep your lung tissue healthy and it will decrease your lung and sinus congestion. Also number two, pine needle extract, anti-lung injury, right? It has anti, it, it, it preserves and strengthens the lung tissue. You can find pine needle extract in a product called Nucleomune, excellent, excellent quality immune product. It's also fever lowering and pain reducing as well, research shows. Number three, zinc, another building block of your immune system. Antiviral, it inhibits viral replication also has shown to be effective against COVID-19. It's therapeutically used to treat the immunocompromised. So if you're immunocompromised, right, you have COPD, asthma, diabetes, right, cancer, um, you know, you want to consider taking zinc here. You want to look into that. You want to make sure you're taking zinc. Number four, oregano is a potent antiviral antimicrobial. 
so excellent at just killing all um, invaders. It's anti-inflammatory, anti-diabetic, and it's a cancer suppressor as well. Number five, bamboo extract. It reduces the IL-6 storm, right? When your immune system is fighting off illness, it will release IL-6. IL-6 will kick in to make sure everything is, is, is killed, essentially. But if that gets out of control, it can leave, lead to death of the tissue, including a COVID, what's called the COVID-19 storm. Bamboo extract reduces this effect. It keeps it in check. It's also a powerful anti-inflammatory, great for preserving lung tissue. Here are some additional powerful antimicrobials, vitamin C, elderberry, tea tree oil or, tea tree oil or melaleuca, the On Guard blend, apple cider vinegar, Here's what's great for sinus congestion, garlic, kimchi, radish, right? Hot pink salt water, right? Gurgling it, right? Neti pot as well. And then you want to eliminate pro viral and bacterial nutrients like refined carbohydrates, right? So if you're sick and you're eating breads, pasta, cereal, pancakes, etc., genetically modified foods, gluten, right? Inflammatory dairy chemicals. If you're, if you are exposed to Wi-Fi in your laptop, in your iPad, electronics, your Apple wristwatch 24 seven, that is going to weaken your immune system. It's going to, it's going to boost your, your virus and bacterial production. It's not going to be healthy for you. You want to, you want to be on guard against those. Also, you want to ask yourself, okay, how are the quality of my supplements? How is the quality of my food? How is the quality of the water and air? Am I sitting in a dark room all the time or am I having proper air? and ventilation. So step number three here is set a time frame for returning to outdoor activity. Mindset check. I'm going to recover soon. I'm going to return to activity very soon. Why? Because inactivity breeds pneumonia. Inactivity breeds a cytokine storm. Inactivity breeds prolonged illness and inactivity drains the vitality of life. You want to keep your mind focused to do work, right? You want to be working on a project, working on a task, right? Do something fun for someone else, right? Give someone a gift, work on creating something, write a book, make a movie, right? Focus on just, just increasing your business. You want to keep your mind actively engaged and focused to do work. So what happens if you get sick, right? Or if you're feeling sick, if you're in the phase one, the acute phase where you have the fever, the runny nose, the cough, you're extremely fatigued, right? Phase one, you want to try to limit it to two days, right? You want to try to get over this very soon within the first two days, one or two days. You do this by actively resting. <clears throat> so let's say, you know, you feel like you really need to sleep deeply, then sleep deeply, go to bed, get rest, right? If you feel like you need to crash and just sleep, then sleep because you know why people who don't get sleep are the ones who get sick. You also want to make sure your room is sunlit. It's well ventilated in the daytimes. You want to be taking three hot steamy showers daily. The high heat is antiviral and anti antibacterial. Also hot bone broth throughout the day, right? Throughout the day, high heat. And it's bone broth is just loaded with great nutrients. Every hour or two during the day, you want to stand outside for at least five minutes, stand in the sun, deeply breathe, right? Phase two is a stabilization phase. This is where you start to kind of calm down a bit. Your fever breaks, you feel better, right? Um, you feel fatigued though, a little bit still, achy. You may have some chills. Your sinuses and lungs are congested. This is where, of course, you want to continue to actively rest, right? Keep getting outside. Um, but you want to make sure you're eating extremely clean, zero sugar. You want to increase your food intake too. Start eating more good quality fats, good quality vegetables, good quality proteins, right? Deep diaphragmatic breathing, Great for de-stressing the body and opening up the lungs and airways. Walk outdoors too. Start walking outside around the block. Here are good, here's a great picture of good foods, right? Good quality fat and protein, salmon, wild caught Alaskan salmon, cruciferous veggies, right? Good fats like the avocado. Phase three here, you want to return to activity, right? You want to gradually expose yourself to the colder elements, the beach, cold showers, right? You want to, you want to, um, gradually start to build resilience in your body, right? So get outside, go to the park, go to the beach, start, you know, take some cold showers to get your body back into the rhythm of just, of just regular life. Also, um, you want to make sure your eating habits are clean. Also, antimicrobial nutrients are maintained. And then get back into the gym. Get back into the exercise routine, right? You want to surround yourself with, with encouraging family and friends too. surround yourself with people that are going to be encourage you, encouraging you that want the best for you, that want you to get better, that want you to succeed. Also, <clears throat> keep in mind that when you have congestion or if you're coughing or if you have cold symptoms, these are all signs of your immune system at work. 
at work. Your immune system is working. Your immune system is fighting the invaders. Your immune system also is going to remember how to beat it better, right? You also want to work on de-stressing your nervous system. So getting regular body work, regular chiropractic care, class four laser therapy, energy pressure wave technology, PEMF technology, all of these therapies, right, boosts your white blood cell activity. Also, um, it enhances lymphatic drainage. It improves your respiration, your breathing, your mood, and it's just tremendously de-stressing, tremendously calming, and research supports, supports this. Because keep in mind that stress leads to a compromised immune system. Fear also leads to a compromised immune system. Despair, right, leads to a compromised immune system. Chronic pain leads to a compromised immune system. All of these things will weaken your immune system and your body. So just remember that you have been blessed with an incredible body and a powerful immune system. You have been blessed with the ability to support and to strengthen your immune system proactively. And your immune system has the ability to kill pathogens and to remember them so that they can fight them even more effectively if another illness were to happen. So remember this, stay hopeful, my friends, take action and be of good courage. If you have any additional questions or if you're looking for in-depth guidance, I would absolutely love to meet with you. My time is very limited as I spend most of it working with my clients to help them return to the activities they love. So if you want to meet, call the office at 310-891-0102 to reserve a complimentary consultation where, where you and I can discuss how we can better serve you and get you right back on the path to living and loving life. I look forward to talking with you soon. Stay healthy, happy, and well. God bless you all and have a great day.